Yes, guys, we had 2K subscribers, and I wanna thank you for that with this video. Today, I'm gonna show you my signed shirts. And this was a video topic that many of you guys requested, so here it is, finally. I'm gonna show you 19 signed shirts, and every shirt has got a different story. I got 18 of the 19 shirts signed by the player himself in person, and I only bought one shirt that you've never seen before. I feel like you can't wait to see them just like me. You know what? I'm gonna stop talking and make it happen. Enjoy this video. All right, we're gonna start off this video with an absolute banger in my opinion, because if we take a look at this Liverpool shirt, we can see that it's the 1718 home shirt. And on the back, I got Virgil van Dijk's signature. I got this shirt signed a few months ago during an open training session of the Dutch national team. Something I really like about this shirt as well is that he signed it on the number instead of on the shirt itself. Because if you get a signature on the number, it's way more popping, you know? I also really like the cup style of the name set. So it's not the Premier League name set, but it's the Champions League and domestic cup name set. I think it's called. He's always one of the guys that makes time for his fans. So I really appreciate that. So I'm really happy with this shirt in my collection. Virgil is definitely one of the best Dutch players. So yeah, this is a great addition to my collection. Signed shirt number two is this Utrecht 1718 away shirt, if I'm right. It's actually a match worn shirt. It was worn by Cyril Dessers. He plays at Cremonese in Italy right now, but he used to play in the Netherlands. He played at Utrecht, Heracles, Almelo, and even Feyenoord. Before I'm gonna show you the signature on the back, I wanna say that this is one of my favorite shirts because in one of my previous videos, I said that I'm a big fan of purple and pink shirts. Well, this is the perfect example of a shirt that I really like. I've never seen something like this before. I bought this shirt about three years ago, and when I saw it, I was absolutely flabbergasted because I've been looking for this shirt for quite some time. On the back, I got Desert's signature. It's kind of funny because when he signed it, it's kind of funny because when he signed it, he played with number nine. So he signed it with number nine as well. Even though during the 17, 18 season, he played with number 11, but I told him that I didn't really care because the shirt is very cool. Another funny thing was that when he signed this shirt, he even asked me how I got the shirt and that he really liked the shirt. So I started laughing and I said, man, I just bought it. It would have been so funny if he actually wanted to buy this shirt from me. Next up, we got the Ajax Bob Marley shirt from the 21-22 season. I don't think I have to introduce this shirt. This one has definitely been one of the most popular Ajax shirts. And that doesn't really surprise me because the reggae design on the shirt looks dope. I gotta admit it, it just looks very dope. And on the back, I got Grafenberg and his signature. I got this shirt signed about a year ago when he was about to leave to Bayern Munich where he plays right now. I remember that he was even injured when I got this signed. So when I met him, he was even walking on crutches, but he still took the time to sign the shirt. And like I said before, if you get a signature on the number, it's way more popping. So you can see it way better. So I will frame this again. I got all of my shirts out of the frame to show them to you. But after this video, I'm gonna frame them again. So that's gonna take me quite some time as well. The next signed shirt I wanted to show you is CSU Barcelona 22-23 home shirt. I traveled to Barcelona for some holidays and I bought this beautiful shirt. I actually showed it to you in my last video, in my Barcelona vlog, but I got this shirt signed by Kunde. I met some of the Barca players, but unfortunately, not all of them had the time to sign my shirt. Now, sometimes it's kind of a struggle where you're meeting players because they're in a rush and you can choose between a picture or a signature. Sometimes I'll just get a picture and sometimes I'll just get a signature. But if I can get both, like in this case, I'm even more happy, so yeah. Next one is kind of special to me because as you can see, it's the Argentina 2018 home shirt and the number 21 is kind of giving it away. But before I'm gonna show you the signature, I just want to tell you that I love the design of the shirt. We got like the smaller squares in the blue parts of the shirt. And I really think Argentina home shirts are very classic. On the back, of course, it's Dybala number 21 
with his signature. Very cool, an amazing signature. Me and a friend of mine met the whole AS Roma squad when they traveled to the Netherlands in order to play versus Feyenoord in the Euro Europa League quarterfinal. And we're lucky enough to meet Dybala. It was actually kind of hard to get the shirt signed because we went to the hotel where the AS Roma were staying. And as soon as the players got out of the hotel, Dybala didn't even look at us. But I really had to show him my shirt and I had to call him. And when he saw this shirt, like this Argentina shirt, he immediately signed it and then he just walked away. So we got a video of him signing my shirt. That's very cool. But we were very lucky that day because if I didn't have this Argentina shirt, he wouldn't have signed anything. So this is a shirt with a story. I will never be able to sell this shirt because it reminds me of, you know, one specific day when I tried to meet a football player. And this is a perfect example of such a day. Next up, we got the FC Twente 2021 away shirt. This is a match worn shirt as well. So we got patches on both of the sleeves. I really like the design of the shirt and Danilo actually gifted me this shirt. So he wore this shirt in, I don't know what game. And then he gave it to me. As you can see, he signed it as well with a black marker. And I really think, like I said before, that black markers on white numbers, white name sets look very cool. It kind of makes the signature very visible. Next shirt I wanted to show you is the Lyon 1718 home shirt. And as you can see, it's even got signatures on the front of the shirt. To be honest, I forgot who this was. This was Rafael, the Brazilian defender who also played at Manchester United. On the back, of course, I had to get Memphis number 11 and I got it signed by him all the way over here at the bottom. And this is Dembele's signature because he played at Lyon as well. This shirt has got a very interesting story as well because one of my cousins lived in Lyon in France and I went to visit him in 2019. So I brought this shirt to France without name set. I figured out that it was going to be an open training session and that was my perfect moment to meet Memphis Depay. So I asked him to sign it all the way over here so that I could get it customized in the Lyon store. So that kind of explains, you know, the weird position of the signature because otherwise I would have gotten it like on the number or around the number at least. Next up, we got an absolutely beautiful shirt, the Croatia 2018 away shirt they use at the World Cup. You know, Croatia shirts are famous for their checkers design and the number seven is kind of giving it away. And I even told you in one of my last videos that I met Rakitic, so he signed my shirt. A beautiful signature with a silver, silverish marker. I'm really happy with this shirt and it's even close to the number. It's just a perfect signed shirt. So I had to get this out of the frame to show it to you guys. I met Rakitic and the whole Sevilla squad a few months ago when they played versus PSV in the Europa League. I waited for the Sevilla players just outside the stadium. And when Rakitic got out of the stadium, I showed him my shirt. But when he saw this Croatia shirt, he signed it. I even got the video of him signing on my shirt. And that's also kind of cool if you can just rewatch that moment. I even got a picture with him. He's a very friendly guy. So this is another shirt I won't be able to sell. It's just beautiful with a beautiful signature and a beautiful design. Next up, we got the Ajax 2021 third shirt. And this is actually the limited edition shirt in order to celebrate their first European title. And on the back, I got Tadic. I actually met Tadic quite sometimes. I think he's an amazing player. He's been one of the most important players at Ajax the last years. And he's a friendly guy as well. He always takes the time for his fans. He always signs autographs, takes pictures with fans and so on and so forth. So I got this shirt signed by him. I even got a video of him signing my shirt. Tadic is also known for putting a smiley on your shirt when he signs your shirt. <laughs> I don't know if many players do that, but he does it. He's got a very nice signature as well. He's a very cool guy and I'm really happy with the shirt. Next shirt is the Netherlands 2020 away shirt. Beautiful black shirt with orange details. And yes, I know, the number 10 is kind of giving it away. It is Memphis Depay, again. I got this shirt signed a few weeks ago when the Dutch national team was in the Netherlands for some training sessions. 
and they organized one open training session and that's when I got the shirt signed. There were a lot of people at this training session so it was kind of a struggle for me to get the shirt signed. When Memphis was about to sign my shirt with a black marker, I gave him my silver marker and I asked him if he could sign my shirt with that marker, which he did and I think the result looks amazing. So I think Memphis Depay will soon be the all-time top scorer of the Dutch national team and I'm really happy to have his signed shirt. Next up, we got another beauty, the Netherlands 2014 away shirt. World Cup 2014 patches on both of the sleeves. I really think patches make a shirt look better and you probably know what player we got on the back if I show you this number 11. It's gotta be the one and only Arjen Robben. And as you can see, he signed this shirt with a beautiful silver marker next to the number quite visible. This shirt will always remind me of the match versus Spain, which we won 5-1. to one. It was a legendary game, by the way. I still remember Robin's goal. He sprinted all the way from his own half to Casillas. He basically outplayed the defense and he scored an amazing goal. I met him about a year ago in person and this was not the only shirt he signed. He actually signed another shirt that you will see very soon. But this has got to be one of my favorite shirts since I'm from the Netherlands. Robin is probably the best Dutch player we had when growing up. So I'm really glad I got this shirt with his beautiful signature in silver and the shirt on itself, even with sign without signature, would have been absolutely amazing. The next signed shirt is the IX 2122 Awake. It. Got a nice golden winner badge over here as well as the Curacao sleep sponsor. This is not really a design you're used to seeing when looking at Ajax shirts, but I actually think it looks kind of nice. It's even got the tags on it because I don't really wear my shirts. And on the back, I got Anthony number 11 with a signature in silverish color. I met Anthony in person last year. Yeah, exactly one year ago. And he signed my shirt. He was actually about to leave to Manchester United. At this moment, he's doing a very good job at Manchester United. He perfectly fits into the squad with his skills and Samba playing style. So I'm really happy with the signature. Also, I remember I was very hyped when I met Anthony because he was definitely, in my opinion, the best player of the Dutch league last year. So yeah, overall, a beautiful shirt with a nice signature from an amazing player. The next signed shirt I wanted to show you is the Bayern Munich 1890 away shirt with the beautiful golden Bundesliga patch and the Qatar Airways sponsor on the other sleeve. So yeah, I gotta say, I really like the design of the shirt with the monochrome Bayern Munich team crest and the Adidas stripes over here, but the back is even better. I got Robin number 10 and of course his signature over here in black this time. And for those of you who noticed, he actually used a different signature for this shirt because the Dutch national team shirt I just showed you has a different signature on it. But I got both shirts signed the same day. When he signed this one, he was kind of in a rush because there were so many people waiting for him and wanted to take pictures with him and everything. So he was in a rush, but I got both shirts signed. And I think this signature looks even better than the signature on the Dutch national team shirt. So yeah, it was definitely my lucky day because I got two shirts signed by one of the best Dutch players ever. The next shirt is very special to me because this is probably the biggest and most famous player I've ever met in person and I was really hyped about it. And on the back, I think you already know who signed it. Mohamed Salah signed my shirt. It was a crazy moment because Liverpool traveled to Amsterdam for the Champions League match versus Ajax last October, I think it was. I went there and I saw all the players. Actually, when he signed this, the shirt still didn't have a name set, but I figured out more or less where the signature had to be so that I could add the name set myself. So I just bought this name set on eBay, the official name set. I applied it onto the shirt and it looks very good with the signature right over here. I even got a video of the moment in which he signed my shirt. And this is another example of a shirt that I will not sell because I got so many good memories. The next shirt is definitely my oldest signed shirt because this is the Manchester United 2000-2002 
puncture and on the back we got honest to her number 10 signed beautiful signature in black i met him last october probably yeah october 2022 even got the video of him signing my shirt the signature looks perfect on the shirt von Nistelrooy is definitely one of the most complete strikers the netherlands has had and he was definitely in his prime at manchester united so i'm really happy with this shirt this was actually the first shirt he wore at manchester united because he arrived in 2001 if i'm right and they wore this shirt back in the day so it's very cool to have his debut shirt signed with number 10. the next shirt is my only psv shirt it's a 2122 away shirt very nice design it's kind of purple navyish turquoise or mint, mint green actually it's mint green on the back gakpo of course number 11 signed by him i met him in october as well october 2022 yeah probably i got a video of him signing my shirt really happy with this shirt a nice signature as well in silver color with a silver marker he's doing a very good job at liverpool at this moment but i'm glad i got his psv shirt psv is the club where it all started for him next up we got the borussia dortmund 12 13 home shirt with golden bundesliga patch because they won the bundesliga in 2012 and on the back i got mario Götze number 10 with his signature next to it a very nice signature in black kind of big signature as well i'm a fan of big signatures because they are more visible like if a player signs your shirt with a small signature it's not as visible and not as popping as a bigger signature but this is absolutely perfect i met guns uh, uh, quite sometimes actually he played at psv in eindhoven uh this is probably also the season when he was in his prime at dortmund the 12th 13th season just before he left to buy munich actually i just remember when i got this sign i was waiting for the players to get inside the stadium and i showed guts this shirt and he signed it and everyone who was you know looking at me getting the shirt signed told me well dude the shirt is so oh where did you get it from and so on and so forth so i really think that sometimes if you got a shirt that is different from the shirts around you like the, the other sh shirts that people are holding to get it signed everything you can really catch someone's attention like the shirt is all yellow you know it, it really pops out if you if you're looking at it with bright colors and i think that's the reason he signed it and then he got into the stadium so sometimes you got to be a bit lucky when trying to get your shirt signed but this was definitely a very good one the next one is the netherlands 2014 home shirt I know the number and I kind of gave it away, so you probably know who signed my shirt. So yeah, gonna show you the back in the Van Persie number nine signed in black. The beautiful signature again I chose for a black marker because it's way more visible on an orange shirt. I met Van Persie last year in May, I think. It was very cool to get it signed. I even got a picture with him. I don't have a video of him signing my shirt, but yeah, I can guarantee that he signed my shirt. Getting back to the shirt, the special one, because Van Persie is definitely one of the best players from his generation with Robin and Snyder. So being from the Netherlands, I'm really happy with the shirt. You've probably already seen the shirts I just showed you if you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, but I got one shirt that I've never showed you before, and it is this one. The FC Barcelona 60-17 home shirt. I'm still not gonna tell you what player signed it, but it doesn't have the Qatar sponsor. It doesn't have the La Liga patch and the Vico sleep sponsor. I'm gonna show you who signed it. You ready? Okay, let's go. Neymar signed my shirt. Or, well, I didn't meet Neymar in person, uh, but I bought the shirt from a very reliable guy. What's a very good deal? Uh, the guy himself was actually not into football and he won it during a giveaway. I checked everything. I even checked the signature and it was legit. So I made a very good deal with him and I immediately bought this shirt because unfortunately I haven't met Neymar in person yet. I hope that day 
will come. You never know. It's going to be difficult, but hey, you never know. You never got to give up. But yeah, I'm very happy with this signed shirt with a beautiful signature in black, a partially on the number with his number 11 and in my opinion he was definitely in his prime when he played at Barcelona but I'm still very happy that I got a signed Barcelona shirt from one of their stars from back in the days so the Neymar shirt is actually the only signed shirt I bought the rest of the shirts I show you are shirts that I got signed by myself in person by meeting the players and that's actually also the way I prefer because I don't really enjoy buying signed shirts and that's why I don't do it. All right guys, that was my signed football shirt collection. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. I'm planning on getting way more shirts signed, so definitely stay tuned because this adventure will never stop. By the way, if you got good video topics, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll take them into consideration. For now, I'm gonna say thanks for watching and see you next time.